Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Deepak Gorshani and I'm glad that you are watching this video. In this video, I'm going to show you that how you can disable your Windows Defender and Windows Security using three methods. So, sometimes it happens that you need to turn off your Windows Defender, Windows Security and some other important settings which is stopping you to install some software or do some uh, important work. So, for that, you have to turn off Windows Defender Securities. So, here, there are three methods and in first method you will uh, disable your windows security or windows defender uh, options uh, temporary so once you finish your work installation or any kind of other work then you it will turn it on once you restart your computer so this method number one is for temporary disablement and then this is second method which will disable your real-time protection or windows defender security permanently until you restart it again and third method you can use if second method doesn't work so I have two method for temporary disablement you can try both of them now let's start uh, for temporary disablement so for that all the steps are here but I am going to show you practically so you have to go to start and click on settings then win update and security then click on windows security so here there are two options which is very important one is virus and threat protection and second is firewall and network protection but if you are downloading something from browser or app store then this is third option so label these settings for a temporary time click on virus and threat protection then click on manage settings so you disable all these options So virus and threat protection are disabled. Now you go to firewall and network protection and disable one by one. So domain network is disabled. Windows Defender and now public network. So in firewall and network protection, domain network, private network and public network, Th these three settings are disabled. Now here you can also disable these privacy settings which is uh, already disabled. So you can disable this but uh, it is if it doesn't work, whatever uh, action you are doing on your computer, whatever work you are doing, it is it doesn't work then you can disable that setting. Now. Uh, firewall and network setting protection and virus threat protection are disabled now third once you download any software or program or file and it is blocking then you can uh, turn this off it will not block after downloading so once downloading is completed it will not check for apps and files now this smart screen for microsoft edge uh, when you use microsoft edge uh, this application on windows 10 it will not allow you to download any software or a file which is having those kind of uh, file which can uh, access your c drive so if it is stopping you to download you can turn this off now third is smart screen for microsoft store apps if you are downloading anything from microsoft store then it will stop you then you can turn off this protection as well so these three virus and threat protection firewall and, firewall and network protection and app and browser control we have disabled temporarily so out of this all the settings one setting this setting will restart once you restart your computer but remain setting will remain turned off so if you want to turn off this setting permanently we will start second method but up to now you have turned off your all the securities and firewall settings and all the protections now you can download install software or do any other action which is stopping because of this security so this was first method now if you will restart this this real-time protection will not uh, stay turned off so for that you have to use second method to disable permanently now here I am turning this on just to show you second method how how does it work so for that we have to follow this is bit long method 
to disable your Windows Defender or Windows Security permanently. So let's follow one by one. So here you have to click here and uh, write reg edit or you can follow method which I have mentioned in my description of this video. So you right click and uh, choose run as administrator. So you will see this. Now in this video's description you will find all of these methods and you have to follow this path. So let's go to this path. So machine and software and policies. So here this is already there. Then you click on software and find policy folder. Here you find policy. Then again we go after policy it is Microsoft and then Windows Defender. So this is Microsoft and then Windows Defender. So after after that we have to start following our step by step procedure. Right click on Windows Defender folder then select new and then click on the word. So let's do it. Right click new and then 32. The word 32. Then we have to name the key. So I copy this. Make sure you copy this instead of typing. Otherwise you may put wrong name. So don't select space here. I am not selecting space. And then copy. This you have to make sure all the time you do all this action. And then you click here. Rename and control V. And then press enter. After that double click on this and change this value from 0 to 1. So this will disable anti-spy. Okay. Now let's follow second step. Then right click on the Windows Defender folder. Select new and click on key. Here we have select new and click on this. But now for this, this is different. So make sure you don't make any mistake. So right click on Windows Defender and then key. Here you have to give a uh, real time protection. So select this, don't select space, copy and rename this. Control V. Okay. Now next step is this right click on real time protection. Now we will right click on real time protection all the time. So after that you select new and D word. Okay. New and D word 32 bit value. We will always select 32 bit value whether it is 64 bit operating system or 32 bit operating system. So click and then we will select copy rename control V enter and then double click change the value to 1 and then OK. Now second after that we have to follow same step but the name will be this one. So right click, select new, the word, right click on real time protection, new and the word. And you can paste that name directly which you have selected and copied. And one. Okay. Now this step. So I am I'm, I'm selecting and copying and then follow same step. Right click, new, the word 32, whatever uh, I will paste, whatever I have selected, double click, change the value to 1 and OK. So all steps we have completed. Now here, after completing the steps, simply restart your computer and it will disable Windows Defender antivirus permanently. You have to restart your computer to disable Windows security permanently. Now if this method does not work for you, then there is third method and it is shown here. It is very easy. You just have to copy this one and paste to disable and this command for enabling again. So for that you have to right click on start menu and go for Windows PowerShell admin. Don't make any mistake. After that, so this will come 
PSC Windows System 32. Make sure you have logged in into your computer with administrator access. So, so now to disable real time protection for permanently if this met second method does not work you have to copy this and paste here. Make sure you do not select and copy invited comma and then after pasting here you press enter. Once you will press enter you will get notification message here that your real time protection is turned off or your windows defender security is turned off. Here I am not getting that message because method second has worked for me. Now suppose this worked for you and now you want to turn it on back then you have to choose this command. The, the difference is here it is true and here it is false. So you copy this and come into this window control V and then enter. So after doing this you just restart your computer and that real protection disable will work permanently. So these are three methods. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next video. Till then you take care. Goodbye.